Sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words. It's just worth a thousand words. Because you get to go back far and look at dogs and look at people and look at anything that you want to see. And the picture should show you what it looked like then and now. This is a reindeer. I mean, this is a, a Staffordshire Terrier. Don't really look too much like a reindeer. It looked like its breed. It fits the standards of its breed. From the dark, deep set eyes to the nice nostrils. Open nostrils. Long, long uh, muzzle. You can see a six to eight inch muzzle now. You can really see it. The ears stand up on his head and there's no wrinkles. The only time that you can see wrinkles on the dog is when the dog is alert. You may not even see wrinkles on the dog when the dog is mad. Just alert. Athletic dog. True to the uh, bull breed standards. Just true to the damn bull breed period. And if that's what you call a reindeer, you can give me one any day. See, those tan points come from the Staffordshire. When you see American bullies with those tan points and you're wondering where they got them from. They got them from home. They got them from home. You came back home and you bred to the blood that was original. The original blood that made the dog. The dog is a terrier, man. The dog is a terrier. And there should be no reason why the dog just change all different formations and, and have looks and breathing problems and small legs and just and just is deformed now compared to what it, st it started off looking like with long ears, even as a puppy. You can look at them eyes and you can tell that the eyes were damn near almond shaped from the start. They was damn near almond shaped from the start, man. From the start of the breed. No, you can't see no bulldog there even as a puppy. You can't see no bulldog there. It's not taking on evolution. It's just a staff. You breed a staff to a staff, you come back with a staff. You breed a pit to a pit, you come back with a pit. And them tan points is going to show. So you can breed to another dog and I'm going to get this color and I'm going to get that desired color and I'm going to get these tan points and markings and all those things. You're just going back home. You're going back to the dog that originally created the American bully. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> You're just going back to the dog that originally created the bully. Sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words. See, you can't lie about them old school dogs. Because, yeah, I mean, they might have looked like reindeers, but they was true to the breed. Every single dog was true to the breed. These are athletic dogs. What are you willing to give up to have what, what we call the new extreme? Because you finna give up a lot of this. You finna give up a lot of this. A whole bunch of what you see on a Staffordshire and pit bull you finna give up a lot of that and replace it with a bulldog, especially that beautiful muzzle. Especially that beautiful muzzle. Especially that beautiful, man, that beautiful muzzle. Look at that muzzle. And them markings, you better remember because you see them on your American bullies. You see them on your American bullies. You see the Staffordshire. You should see the Staffordshire in an American bully. That's how a bully should look. A little bit different. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I mean, you can't you can't say a bully supposed to look like this. That's that's probably wrong. Because when you take in two dogs, <clears throat> a pit bull terrier and a Staffordshire terrier, 
and they both was rejects, and you breed them together, and you get a new litter. You may get some dogs that look like this. You may get a dog that take on a different feature. And if you start doing some things with them, you know, if you start to inbreed even more, you may start to lose a little bit of those inches you see right there. You know, you may start to come up with some problems from inbreeding because a lot of dogs are heavily inbred. So once you start inbreeding this dog, you might see that you might start losing some of that uh that height. You might start losing, but, but you see the straightness on that back? I don't think even with inbreeding, you're going to lose that back, but you could. There's a possibility. There's a possibility of that, if just the whole dog changing with continuous inbreeding. You could see another toe on the dog. You might see his tail start kinking. You might see his tail get shorter. He could be born with one testicle. He could be born blind with continuous inbreeding. You know, he can be born, you know, probably without smell. He just, you know, something's going to go wrong. But at the end of the day, you, that reindeer that you're looking at right there, that's what created this breed. That's that's literally what created this breed. The, the skin was already tight. I think the skin got loose when, you you know, the mixing of the dogs came in and they started mixing them damn mastiffs and the Rottweilers to the dog and you, you messed up the skin. But the skin was already originally tight. It was already originally tight. They came from tight skinned dogs. They didn't come from dogs with wrinkles. They didn't come from that. They didn't come from that. They already had nice heads. They was already champions, man. The pit bull and the staff of Shy Terry was already champions. It wasn't too much fixing you could do with the mixing. And that's just a real true statement. It wasn't too much fixing you could do with the mixing. You can't you can't sit here and blend up a lot of dogs. And some of the dogs you blended up, they wasn't even terrier. But you can't blend up a lot of dogs thinking you fixing something that ain't even broken. Them two dogs right there could have made puppies that wasn't that that, you know, the puppies wouldn't have had probably nothing wrong with them. Those are two healthy dogs. See them arms? They sit under the chest. They sit under the chest, man. Bowed out and 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 and, and wide arms. Man, damn, that probably didn't even come from continuous inbreeding. That's just a a whole line of another dog. You can see another dog when you see that kind of stuff. You can see another dog. These dogs have straight arms, straight legs. And the boy is bigger than the girl. That's another thing. That's another thing. Pretty dogs, pretty smiles on them. Wide nostrils, deep set black eyes. They got stops on their head. Ears set to the back. No wrinkles on them. The chest is sticking out automatically. The arms are up under the, the chest. The withers are, are correct. The tail is down to the withers, down to the, down to the hawks. Straight back, but sometimes these dogs' backs go, go at an angulation because they need to flow backwards. This is all what, this, what the people want to see on this dog. Where the American bully came from. Ain't no way you can make a a, a, a dog with... You, you can't make an extreme from that right there. It ain't gonna it ain't gonna make you no extreme. These two dogs right here ain't gonna make you no extreme. You'd have a better chance of getting the XL. They ain't gonna make you no exotic. Them two dogs ain't gonna make you no exotic. That's how the head supposed to look. Them eyes was always almond. Them, them nostrils is open. You see them round cheeks? Look at them round cheeks. You're going to lose something just to get the uh, mask for an extreme. You're going to lose. So what are, you, what are you willing to lose? 
you're going to lose some phenotype and you're going to lose some genotype too because you got to add new genes into it. That dog got nice cheeks. That's what a champion dog look like. It ain't about his color. It's about the dog. It's not about his color. That's a champion dog right there. What happened? What, you know, you got the whole the, the whole dog's head didn't change. That is, you know what? If you don't want the American bully head to look like that, well, it's supposed to be similar. It's supposed to be close, closer to this than closer to a bulldog, right? It's supposed to be closer to this right here, right? Than closer to a bulldog, right? This dog don't got no wrinkles on his face. And y'all keep talking about they supposed to have golf ball cheeks. This the only place you can get them. See them golf ball cheeks? That's the only place you can get them. That's why I told you, if you don't have no staff in your program, you should probably go out and incorporate some in there. If you're looking for a bully. Most of the time, people are incorporating names. I'm going to get this new blood over here. I'm going to get this new blood over here. Then you put that blood to your stuff and it don't work. You ain't making a dog that look better than a Staffordshire Terrier. You ain't making a dog that look better than a pit bull. You call a pit bull a reindeer, but you ain't making a dog that look better than him. This dog right here jump a gate with no problem right now. See how he flows backwards? That's what I mean by flow backwards. See how he just, his angle is going downwards, backwards. Stretched out as he got nice hawks in the back. His thighs is nice. His tail is nice. He don't got a long body. He got a body that's, equ that's nice, that's equivalent to the size of, of him, period. His body is supposed to stretch out even more. He got his own neck. He already had a neck. This dog has a neck. We don't have to go and paste the neck on him. He already has a neck. That's a full, complete American bully. Well, that ain't. This right here, I be I, I call it an American bully, but it's really a staff, but I still call it a bully. But that's as close as you should really be trying to get when it comes to a bully. Straight back, okay, if you want to take his back and make him straighter, that's cool. Go breed him to a pit, make his back straighter. You keep breeding to a staff, you're going to keep getting that angled back because that's what they throw. These staffs were mixed when they came to America. They all look different. See what I'm saying? They all look different. That right there is as close to a bully as you should be getting. These are champion dogs, man. These are champion dogs. These ain't just some stupid dogs. These are champion dogs, man. Where you should be getting your blood from should be the dog's lineage, the dog's history. But, you know, that ain't, that ain't for sale. His history and his lineage ain't for sale. The new stuff you incorporating into the dogs is for sale. That makes the dog look totally different from that. Yeah, he's a beautiful dog. But, and you know, I understand clearly that ain't, there is not one American bully that should be looking like a classic. I understand clearly there is not one American bully that should be looking like a classic. All American bullies should not look like no classic dog. Yeah, they should take on different features and get a little bit buff, but they shouldn't take on bulldog features, but they should get a little bit broad, a little bit wide. You have certain pit bulls and certain pit bull Staffordshire mixes that do get wide, but they don't take on no bulldog features. So I don't believe that all American bullies should look like a classic. Hell no. They throw pockets too. They come in standards too. We didn't create Razor's Edge. That's one thing we did not. I didn't. 
And most of the people out there, y'all didn't create Razor's Edge. So we just really can't speak too hard on Razor's Edge, even though we know it's supposed to look like this. Razor's Edge is damn near supposed to look like this. Took on a different color in some shape, form, or fashion. But this is where it came from. When you put, when you add extreme to the program, you added a different dog, and the different dog isn't on the paperwork. Ain't no dogs on the paperwork. If you ever look at an American bully, uh, pedigree, ain't no different dogs on the paperwork. Not one. Not one dog that's different is on the paperwork. Just all bullies. No, not even one bulldog. Ain't even one bulldog on the paperwork. God dang, bro, we can see clearly that the dog's been transformed and something transformed it. And you ain't putting one dog on the paperwork? That's crazy. That's crazy right there. That's crazy. Ain't none of the American bullies, Brindle. Don't none of the American bullies kick fine no more? The original colors that they came with. I ain't never seen no Merle Amstaff. I ain't never seen no Merle Ruffian. I ain't never seen no Merle Ryan. And I ain't never seen no extreme in none of them dogs either. So what the hell made that extreme? Can somebody say what made it? Yeah, we talking about the extreme. See, one thing about the dog is the dog then transform into extreme. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 your dog is no longer for sale. It's no, it's no good no more. It ain't, it ain't gonna make no money, and you'd be lucky to win a dog show. Well, what you mean that the classics is reindeers? These classic dogs ain't no reindeers. This is the American bully. This where it came from. It ain't our fault that it, none of these dogs look like a bulldog. It's not our fault that these people way back in the days when they was creating these dogs did not want to create a dog that was small. That's not a small dog. That's a champion dog. He's not small. It's not, it, you know, it don't make you some type of illiterate breeder or slow breeder to the game. You slow to the game. You ain't playing catch up because you ain't creating dogs that's small and cock strong like the dogs that's walking around right now. They not supposed to look like that. They supposed to look like that. This was years and years and years before an American bully even walked around. But this is also the genetics that it came from. So somebody lying. Somebody lying. Somebody got to be lying about the size of these dogs and where they came from. Somebody got to be lying. Ain't no way you just finna take this dog right here and put a whole lot of mass on it and make it smaller. You got to show me that shit. Put that on a breeding... You know what I'm saying? Put that on the tape and, and breed your dogs and, and show us the litter. Show us the mama having them babies and, and, the, and the dogs just got smaller with big old heads. The, the, that dog, that dog head, that's an old school dog. That dog ain't got no head nowhere near no damn 25, 26, 27, 28 inches. His body not long neither. Long time ago, that dog was, was made. That dog probably deceased right now, but that's how they looked a long time ago. His body was not long. I ain't understanding. Somebody lying somewhere. You got to show me them dogs. 1940, man. That's what that dog looked like in 1940. And I don't know how it changed today. See, you can see how it changed up a little bit from 1940 because he got like a, a nice snipey nose right there. And he nice and leggy. But that's one of the dogs that, you know, most people can remember having is an athletic dog like that. You can remember having an athletic American bully, a, a pit bull terrier, a Staffordshire terrier dog like that. You ain't never had no dog you had to damn near carry. You ain't never had no dog you couldn't 
You own this dog. You didn't got this dog to 100 pounds. And you can't even walk him around the neighborhood because he won't walk. He gets tired quicker than this dog. This is an all-around dog right here. This is where the American bully come from. This is an all-around dog, see? Proud dog, confident dog. Look at them cheeks on that dog. Look at them eyes on that dog. Look at that nose on them dogs. This is where the features come from. Then they got took away. That's why I keep saying, if you take the terrier out the dog, what do you have left? Damn sure ain't going to be no razor's edge bully. He damn sure ain't going to be that. You ain't got to worry about you having no razor's edge. Once you get to shoving that dog full of bulldog. Look at them eyes. I just want you to look at them eyes. See, because that's the main thing you're giving away when you uh, incorporate that new dog. And you're giving away them cheeks. And see, you got to cut them ears. I don't know why y'all cutting them ears. But you got to cut them ears. You ain't got to cut no real bully ears. You can leave his ears alone. You ain't got to cut his ears. He don't need no cosmetic look because he's a proud gangster anyway. When he stomp up in there, you already know he in the building anyway. He miss shit. This dog come up in there, he's subject to go crazy. He gonna be the prettiest dog in there. By far. Hands down. That is not a reindeer. That's true to the breed right there. It's this disrespect to clown a uh, pit bull terrier, man. Or the uh, Staffordshire Terrier. When you an American bully fan. When you American bully fan and you talk about our people, the ones that paved the way for you to even have our ugly ass bully sitting on your couch right now. Oh man, you ain't no bully fan. You ain't no bully fan when you get to smashing on our dogs. Because I don't like no damn bulldog and the next door neighbor don't like a bulldog and the man across the street don't like a bulldog either. And we don't want them farting dogs smelling up our whole house and everything. They farting because they need to weigh all this pounds. So they got a dookie and get all that stuff up out of We got to clean that stuff up. Just let me tell you something. Man. It wasn't too long ago everybody was talking about we don't even like big dogs no more. Now you want a hundred pound dog. It wasn't too long ago everybody was screaming don't nobody breed big dogs no more. Now you want a hundred pound dog. I don't want no hundred pound dog. I, I only weigh 150 pounds, 160 pounds sometimes myself. I can't deal with no dog that way more than me. Hell no, I can't deal with that. Mm -mm, nope. See, that's where you come from. Know your breed, know your genetics, know where you come from before you get to jumping on bandwagons talking about what you like. I like all dogs. I like some of them exotics, even though I talk about them and say some about them, 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 all they everything's. I still like the dogs. I mean, it ain't them dogs' fault that y'all literally breed in the wrong way. I can't. I mean, I I can look at you and look at the dog and tell you some things that I don't like about it, but that dog didn't breed itself when he's supposed to look like that right there. But you want a small dog. You want this dog to be about 12 inches. And you want him to be like 16 inches. And he got to be 120 pounds. How, yeah, okay. That's what you like. That's your vision. Ain't nobody got no problem with that. Ain't nobody got no problem with you and your vision, man. But just you just need to know before you start having a vision that this is where the American bully came from. Before you listen to them paperwork that say he supposed to have a heavy bulldog influence. No, he don't. <laughs> you know, he supposed to have no heavy bulldog influence. That's a lie. That's your vision of American bully. That ain't everybody's vision. Don't know that dog right there. You'll never hear him go. Ah, ah, ah. 
choking and shit like he be breathing. Like, no, nah, man, these are champion dogs, man. The whole damn American bully breed is a champion breed. Understand, it's a champion breed, man. Every damn dog, you this dog come from champion dogs. That's what made everybody want to breed a bully because they were champion. They've been champions. They ain't never been small. They ain't never been no little peanut dog. That dog right there, man, shit. You talking about mass. You talking about you want a wide dog. What you call that? What you call that? Man, please. Yeah, I know what you call that. Originator of the razor's edge. I know exactly what you call originator of the razor's edge. Originator of the razor's edge. That's what you call that. Originator of the razor's edge. That's exactly what you call that. Originator of the razor's edge, man. And it's that's where the dogs come from. It's not our fault that that's where them dogs come from. And they created the razor's edge. And, and everybody kind of got a little butt hurt when we seen the dog change colors. The dog went and it started looking like a big old dog. And... and and it's a hundred and and, 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 and and what? This dog is, is how many pounds? That's a big old dog. For a dog to be that big, everybody got mad at the dog. So some of the dogs that we view nowadays is not originally how the dog looked. We can put that together ourselves. We already know that. And, you know, what I'm saying as a community, we probably just need to just go on and come together and, and show people the dogs of how they used to look, how they should look. That's Mr. Suarez Bull's dog. That's Bruce Lee. That's a razor's edge dog. That's a razor's edge dog, in case y'all people don't know what a razor's edge dog is. That's a razor's edge dog. And you just don't get a chance to see razor's edge dogs too much. And you probably don't know what they look like. They 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 look beautiful, man. I'm sorry they had to tell you, but they don't really have a bulldog influence, man. I'm sorry to tell you that you probably won't get the mass that you looking for from a razor's edge dog. I'm probably sorry to tell you that. You know, he probably ain't going to be 14 inches and uh. 200 pounds and 120 pounds and shit like that. He ain't going to be that. That's not what happened with these. These dogs are real dogs. They're razor's edge dogs, man. The community is a real community. You know, and uh, sometimes you got to you gotta really just talk about the fucking dog that, you know, the, the community like, man. I understand everybody like a big old dog. You can have that big old dog. Ain't nobody stopping you from having that big old dog. But that's a razor's edge, dog. And when you try to change the, this look, why would you want to change that? What, what's wrong with that dog? Man, that dog don't need no mass on it. That dog got enough muscle structure, man, to serve a purpose. He's beautiful. He can walk in any bar. He can walk in, in any in, down any street, sit in any car. The most famous look ever. The face of the bully. I want y'all to see the face of the bully. I want y'all to see the face of the bully. You trying to take away that right there. It's, it's, it's impossible. See this right here ain't going nowhere. That's the face of a bully. That's the face of the American bully. That's a razor's edge dog. Sorry that we just couldn't uh, make this dog 120 pounds and and, and just, man, man, make him to where he couldn't walk. And he got messed up feet and things. And, you know, he had to just be all messed up. He wasn't messed up. Look at them deep set eyes. Ain't, ain't that boy? He got his ancestors all in him. He got his ancestors all in him. Razor's edge, man. It's the face of the bully. You just don't understand. It did not come from the dogs that you throwing in the program. The dogs you throwing in the program don't look like that. And that's how they supposed to look. Face the bullet.